In this morning's Money Watch, if you're still waiting to go back to the office full time, one consulting firm says it could be a while. Yeah, and Boeing, uh, Boeing Union will vote on whether to strike. Jane King is live in New York following these stories for us this morning. Jane. Hi, Ted Morgan. And good morning. Yes, a union representing about 220 Boeing workers said on Friday they will vote yesterday on whether to authorize a strike. After contract negotiations, they said took a turn for the worse. No tally on that vote has been made public yet. Now, Teamsters Local 174, they represent workers in transportation, warehousing, and logistics in Washington state, uh, said that Boeing's management is devoted to destroying benefits and wages that the members have earned. Well, Johnson & Johnson shares could be under pressure today vaccine deliveries plunge and the company has backed off a previous April target of vaccine deliveries. So they had said they would deliver 24 million doses this week. The government slashed allocations though to states to just 700,000. So they're continuing to have problems at a Baltimore plant that was contracted to make the vaccine. And now that states and cities are opening back up, many are asking what will the office look like? MJV Technology and Innovation has several big company clients and a front row see to the workplace of the future. CEO Mauricio Viana says they believe the hybrid, hybrid mode of work will become the norm. Human beings still, they still need, you know, to, to interact and to socialize. Um, however, I mean, we see that, you know, the benefit of, of remote work is, 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 is huge. MJV says its companies have adapted and they found a way that they can be creative and innovative remotely with the right tools and company culture. Well, the Dow and S&P 500 closed at records on Friday. Investors looking past signs of inflation. So for the week, the Dow up 2%, S&P 500 up 2.7%. The Nasdaq gained 3%. Looks a little lower this morning, though. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, Jane, certainly something to keep an eye out on. Thank you.